on these 12 inch Craftsman band saws. It's 35 years old, model 113. I'll put the blade on so it hits on the crown of each wheel and then I spin it around a bit and allow that blade to seek its own center. You can't put it somewhere where it doesn't want to be. It's just wherever it decides to seat. I'll tension it up and then the, the question gets down, how do you know how much tension? Well, at midpoint on away from the cutting side, uh, this is going to be inside the case, I, if I can move it about a quarter inch, I'm probably about right. But there's one more check that I make and I listen to the blade. What's a properly tensioned bandsaw blade? Listen. It's, it has about a quarter inch give, but it makes a nice sound when it's plucked. Bandsaw is like tuning up a guitar or a bass. It's a instrument. It has to have its its blade or its string tuned and the blade remember floats. If you're cutting and that blade's being moved around it'll come off the wheels. Using a business card you set the rollers, roller guides to be one business card width away from the blade. That's as close as they need to be. They never touch. And when you spin the blade through, none of them are rolling. They're, st they're still properly adjusted. You do the same thing for the bottom rollers as well on the thrust bearing and the two guide bearings.